Hi all and welcome to this week's edition of Bites of Bread. You've asked yourself this question before and I know I have too. God, where are you? We ask that in times of deep distress or troubles when anxiety is, is rising up in, within our lives. God, what, what are you doing? I could really use your help right now. The thing is, if we, we look out there, we look at the creation, we look to the skies, or you look within, where are you going to find about God? You're going to find a God who is powerful, and you're going to find a God who is wise. But the answers that you're, you're really needing, the answers that you should be searching for, you're not going to find them in here or out there. It's just not going to happen. Why is that? Well, God reveals to us that he is a God who hides himself. Much of what he is doing, much of what he is accomplishing, we can't see. And that's just fine. But that which is most necessary for us, what about that? What about the answers we are, are searching for, the answers that we want? Well, the most important answers that are necessary for, in, for us in our lives, they are given to us. And they're found in the Bible. That is where we should be looking when we are asking that question, God, where are you? Because he reveals what kind of God he's like. He is the God who, who stood side by side with his people throughout how many conquests and how many different problems that they faced. He was the God that sent his own son so that you might be saved. This is the kind of God that we're, we're dealing with. So if you're asking, God, where are you? He's, he's right by you. He's by your side just as we saw on this past Sunday. Now, with the other questions, the questions that God has not revealed, what do you do with them? Ask him. And if it is his will, he'll reveal them to you. God's blessings to you all.